today. I'm going to share a method of fermenting lactic acid bacteria using rice washing water. It's simple, convenient, and can also increase the beneficial microorganisms in the soil, achieving a bacteria fighting bacteria effect to prevent diseases when we cook. We take the first rinse of rice water, only use the first, more concentrated rice washing water, find a clean mineral water bottle to store it. Then add a little bit of salt, but not too much, because too much salt could affect the soil's salinity and alkalinity. The purpose of adding salt is to inhibit the growth and reproduction of harmful bacteria, creating a relatively favorable environment for beneficial bacteria like lactic acid bacteria. Cap the bottle and shake it vigorously to dissolve the salt thoroughly. Place it in any corner of the room. It must be kept at room temperature and make sure it doesn't get direct sunlight. After two days of fermentation, add the second ingredient, which is white sugar, about twice as much as the salt. That's two tablespoons. The role of sugar is to provide an energy source for the growth and metabolism of lactic acid bacteria. Once the sugar is broken down, it becomes available for the lactic acid bacteria to use. The organic matter in the rice washing water breaks down faster into small molecules that plants can absorb and utilize. Then cap it again and shake it to mix evenly. After five to seven days, it will be ready to use. When you open it, you'll smell the flavor of natural yogurt. Dilute it 10 to 20 times with water and water it at the plant roots, where the microorganisms will form beneficial bacteria colonies, blocking harmful bacteria from reaching the roots. Or dilute it 100 times and spray it on the leaves. We recommend using Bacillus subtilis to prevent various plant diseases. If you don't have Bacillus subtilis, this rice Washing water with lactic acid bacteria can still play a role in prevention. It can be used for watering, flowers, or vegetables. And it works by using beneficial bacteria to fight harmful ones. It also provides essential nutrients to plants, such as potassium, which is particularly beneficial for fruiting vegetables.